This video is going to cover Cassini, what it is, and how it uses information in your listings to rank items based on best match criteria. We will also be covering best SEO practices based on a thorough study and comparison of both HTML source code and direct listing pages through Penguin and Cassini. What is Cassini? Cassini is the name of the algorithm that eBay search uses to rank your item based off of best match criteria. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is a set of rules a program follows to solve a problem. With Cassini, that problem is where to rank you amongst the tens or hundreds or thousands of similar listings. Cassini has a massive algorithm designed to provide buyers with the best shopping experience possible. While no one truly knows the algorithm for Cassini, and it is constantly changing, these steps can be counted on to improve your ranking with not only Cassini, but to give you a fighting chance at showing up on Google Shopping. There are a couple other things to cover before we continue. SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, or otherwise known as using proper keywords, as well as LSI, which is Latent Semantic Indexing. Latent Semantic Indexing is a function search engines use where they look for common words or phrases that are similar to the keywords being used in the item title. Source code. Source code is a list of commands that are executed by a computer program, namely to make the screen look the way it does. Where to place the pictures, video, text, color, size, etc. Everything you see is a hidden string of code being computed, and that code is readable and searchable if you know where to look. This does come into play in a little bit. Back to Cassini for now. The number one thing Cassini looks at is title. Using good SEO practices to properly describe your item in 80 characters or less is going to be your first step in the right direction. If you have doubts about the spelling of a word, either Google it or use a spell check app or type it into Microsoft Word first, make sure you're spelling the word the proper way. If the keyword is misspelled, it could literally hide your listing from a large portion of your intended audience. Do not keyword spam. Do not use keywords that mean nothing to your item to try to get more exposure. Cassini is very smart and can, and most likely will, send your listing to the bottom of the rankings. Make sure to write your title in a way that can be understood by the buyer. It needs to flow to a point. We as a species are lazy, and if there are, say, three Murano Apple paperweights and yours is in the middle, the potential buyer will move right past yours if it takes too long to try to understand what your title is trying to convey. Number two, item specifics. A lot of sellers pass this by, and by using these will increase your item's ranking over similar items without these boxes chosen. If there are no appropriate choices, at the bottom of this section, there's a link that says add your own. After doing this research, I will not list an item without at least five specifics, but I will add as many are as available and appropriate. Number three, category. This should be pretty straightforward. However, if your item ends up in the wrong category, it will lose click-through rate, which negatively affects all listings in the end. It takes only a moment to make sure that your uranium glass teacup isn't in corning milk glass category. If your item's in not in the right category, chances go way down that it will sell because it's not appealing to the proper buyers. Applying good practice to these three areas, no matter how Cassini updates in the future, should keep you in good ranking within eBay. Other things Cassini considers include feedback, shipping times, using qualifiers or adjectives in your title and description. Make sure to use high quality photos. Cassini can tell the true size of the photos based on the pixel count and it will deem it essentially as either a good or bad photo. If there's not a high enough pixel count, then it will consider a bad photo and it will drop in the rankings. You get 12 free photos, use as many of those 12 as you can, but it's recommended to at least use four photos. Now onto the description. I did research myself into H tags, not hashtags, not the, the pound mark, but H tags. Now, 
what this is, is this is HTML text that gets coded to be found by search engines outside of eBay. Back sometime in 2016, eBay had removed H tags from showing up in source code, so they were thought to be obsolete. I personally have checked all of my listings where I utilize H tags, and when pulling up the source code, they do pull up in every single one of the source codes that I have checked, leading me to believe that the exterior search engines will find them. It was in an article I had read thought that at one time eBay will re-implement the, using the H tags. However, I was not able to see anywhere where it said that it did. So I did the research myself and I see for a fact with my own eyes that the H tags are showing up within the source code. I utilize H tags and I do have my own specific um, template that I use, which I'm willing to share with anybody that would like it. All you would need to do is head on over to our Facebook group, Vintage Thrifter Resellers. I will be sharing it on there. I will include the H tags in the description of this video as well. However, the specific template I use will be in my Facebook group. Feel free to search and join, and I will gladly share the info with you as well. Stay active. It is better to list three items every day than it is to list 15 today and skip week. Activity and engagement are all a factor within Cassini. If you don't have any items to list, try to update or revise one item per day. A couple places to find keywords are Terapeak, Google Keyword Planner, as well as using keywords from the selected category in your eBay listing. If you look at the eBay selected category underneath your title, you can see it will have multiple different categories within it and, ca and subcategories. Those themselves are good keywords to use. Hopefully this information wasn't too much at one time. I can personally be reached at hextreasures at yahoo.com for any specific questions you may have. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram and Twitter at hextreasures.